And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're heading back out in the chopper again. We're going to get out there in the uh, Dreamfoil 401 and see if I can't actually land this thing. It's been a bit of fun. And also we're out in a new location, somewhere I've not flown before. So put down in the comments if you get it early where we are. I'm sure some of you will work at it pretty quickly. But we ain't in the States and we're not in Australia just for a change. So the one thing I did find with the uh, the new system, as you guys may or may not be aware, I've just got a new um, new system here with a uh, Ryzen 5 2600 and a 1060, uh, and uh, it's running pretty well. Now I um, threw us into the new location. Now I'm not going to give it away just yet, but I will. And uh, I found that it, with all the extra buildings, because it's a fairly big city, that um, it did knock my FPS down a little bit, so I've taken it down from absolute max just down to one step, and uh, it's left me with about 22 to 25 FPS most of the time, so it's still really nice and smooth, and I'm still getting used to handling this helicopter. It's just like sitting on a plate that's on top of a ball bearing, you know, you, you move back or you move forward or left or right, and the whole thing just, you got to be on your toes all the time. It's a bit like dancing, I guess. It's, uh, but it is a lot of fun. So if you haven't flown choppers, guys, you've been fixed wing or you've been um, flying the big tube liners around, try this for a bit of fun, really. It is, uh, it is quite a challenge. And to date, I haven't had what I would call a decent landing as yet. So just going to do a couple of quick circuits and then I'll, in the middle of this, I'll give away where we are as well. And you can have a look at that. And, ah, uh, oh, doesn't that sound good? The old, the old rotors flapping away there as we turn around done a really great job with the sound on this this is just really awesome so we're on our upwind you can see the uh, runway in the city there I don't think the city gives any gives it away where we are just yet but um, I'll, I'll let you know in a second you'll you'll know immediately where we are if you haven't already guessed but if you have guessed stick it down in the comments I want to know how quick it was. When was it? The first minute? The second? The third? Or uh, did you have to wait till I showed you where we were before you worked it out? Just for a bit of fun. Why not? So let's keep heading on down here. We're on the downwind leg and uh, see how we are. You can see the city there in the distance and here we are. Have, have you worked it out yet? Here we go. Lots of trains. And if that doesn't give it away, nothing else will. Yes, the uh, the London Eye, Houses of Parliament over there. I think we need to come in and do a landing in there, I think. <laughs> but let's uh, concentrate at the task at hand, and we'll try and get ourselves down for the first landing. So you can see the uh, the London Airport there. We'll fly in. It's really such a balancing game on this. You can see the amount of control movements just trying to get a level real I need to be slowing down a little bit and I've just pulled the nose up a little bit to try and slow down and then as we turn far you can see that the um, that yours a little bit more than it should as I as I turn and that's because I haven't got the rudder set up really well It'd be nice to have some rudder pedals you really would benefit by having the whole lot of the toys when it comes to flying choppers so we've got the nose up bringing the speed back very sensitive on power. It's, it's all about uh, pitch control uh, when it comes to this, it seems. Now, I'm open to any tips that you guys have had out there, so feel free to uh, leave those in the comment section and try and help me do this a little better. So I'm just trying to hold the nose up. You can see the speed's coming down. You can see the speed in the in the middle dial there, at the top. This would be interesting to do with uh, with a mouse control too, because I can't believe so many of you guys out there must fly on laptops and on uh, and just use your, your mouse and and pad and, and keys to fly. So got that pretty much in the hover at the moment, so that's not bad. And I'm just going to work my way through just gently to try and get myself down for hopefully what would be my first landing. Because uh, and there's a hurricane there on the right too. That's starting up. Need a few more aeroplanes. Not sure I've got the um, the aircraft turned on on this one. I think I still might have them turned off here. But anyway, just picking up a bit of speed. Nose up, nose up. Probably a little bit violent on that. 
Let's see, we get down. Oh, we, we're down on slide, so we didn't crash. So there's my first landing. Yay! Pretty happy with that. <laughs> because everything else have been ridiculous bounces and all sorts of things. So let's get out and see if we can go around the circuit one more time. Now, if you guys are not particularly familiar with the aircraft, now this Bell helicopter came out in uh, in 95. Um, it's been used by quite a few militaries as a, uh, as a, I guess, transport and stuff as well. Its um, figures are pretty good, though. When it comes to power and, and speeds. But it's out there being used by... Um, what have we got? We've got the El Salvador, the Iraqi, Jamaica, Mexican and the United Arab Emirates militaries are, are using the aircraft. So what is it? It's crews typically one pilot. Uh, it uh, has a cat, uh, hook capacity of about 1,200 kilos, so you can pick up stuff and carry it around. It's about 41 foot long. The rotors are about 35 foot. The height is about 11 foot. And uh, the disc area is 962 square feet, guys. So it's all in the old the old measurements, because I feel a bit happier there most of the time anyway. The empty weight's about 2,668 pounds. Useful load. 2,347 pounds or about a thousand kilos so you can get a thousand kilos in it uh, maximum takeoff weight 6,000 pounds or 2,700 kilos I'll give you that and it's powered by an Allison one Allison 250 C47B turbo shaft with just a mere 813 shaft horsepower <laughs> what couldn't you do with that uh, poked into your Ford Focus eh? 8,000 horsepower Oh, 606 kilowatts, guys, that is. So uh, it'll do about 140 knots as maximum speed. Cruise is just below that at 133. Range is not too bad for a chopper, too. Uh, 324 nautical miles. And uh, it'll fly up to about 18,600 feet. And a little bit, depending on the weather. So it's a pretty useful helicopter, isn't it? And we'll head down here and back down the, the downwind. And heading back for one more shot at the runway. So and it's still flying really smoothly. This new system, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I know it's not the, the most powerful system in the world, but it's uh, it's doing a pretty good job. If you're looking for a good balance between uh, performance and, I guess, your budget, depending on how big your, your wallet or your purse is, um, yeah, feel free to have a look. Though You'll find these items on uh, letsflyvfr.com as well if you'd like to support the channel if you buy there the channel does get a little bit of a uh, a little bit of commission which helps to uh, make more videos for you guys so if you'd like to do that please check it out if you see anything that's worthwhile there they're, they're all in Aussie dollars as well so just so you know look to be upfront if you purchase something you do help the channel out just a little bit so that's really great so look at the, the quality of the buildings and everything here and uh, it's really good. And this aircraft is modeled well, but I think one of the things that's really got me is the sound. If you turn the sound up, you can hear the whine of the Allison uh, in the in the background there above the um, the rotor noise and stuff, which also is just outstanding, especially when you turn, just like that. You can, you can hear it biting as you, as you make the turn as we turn back in on final. <laughs> I've overcooked it again. It's not an uncommon thing, I'm afraid. <laughs> The balloon's turned a little bit earlier, so let's head in and see if we can't get this on the ground a second time without bending anything. It really is a great challenge, guys. It really is. It's, it's such a lot of fun. And I've sort of stuffed my nose up at uh, helicopters for a long time, thinking, oh, yeah, you know, I can't be bothered with that. They don't go that fast. Well, really, it goes faster than the jab routes that I uh, was flying out there, LSA, so... Um, pretty good. Just trying to get those rudders sorted out. It's a bit hard with the twist grip. If I, I would really love to have my rudders here, but uh, they're still left at my other house in Thailand, so they will remain there for now. But the approach pretty good. Just getting the nose up, killing that speed. Don't need to do very much for the power. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, please, if you are not currently subscribed. Love to have you on board. We've got videos out currently every week. And there's quite a few on the channel, so feel free to scroll back and look at the old ones. There's plenty there. Just working on the hover here, just trying to get it steady. 
and then I just want to walk my way in just gently and uh, put us down there hopefully again in one piece I've had some spectacular crashes uh, this thing uh, does some really strange things if you do get it wrong though it bounces and bounces and bounces it's like it's on a uh, on a trampoline I think that might need to be sorted out a little bit guys out there but uh, but other than that the flying is just beautiful so just oh no hang on there's a jet coming the other way someone's uh they didn't tell me they'd move the runway okay so we'll slip off to the side here which wouldn't be uncommon for a helicopter anyway and hear those rotors that's really good and down again hey that's two out of two really happy with that so thanks for coming along for the ride hope you enjoyed the video uh feel free to watch some of the other ones there and uh i look forward to catching you back here at let's fly vfr again sometime uh, very soon i'll catch you again and don't forget leave me your comments on how quick you worked out where we were see you soon bye